Okay, so uh, my friend from Arizona was uh, complaining a little bit about his uh, vacuum cleaner and uh, he said his bearing was bad. It just so happened my friend over here has the same problem. This is his uh, Auric and the bottom is held by five screws, Phillips head. So you just unscrew it and you pop open and well you see the belt is broken. He has it for he says about 10 years so the uh, belt is pretty thick about an inch, an eighth of an inch. Uh, the motor is not too dirty. Uh, roller is pretty good. Seems to move freely, so the bearing is good. Uh, he he uh, noticed in the other videos that there's an extra belt here, so this is absolutely what you need. Uh, this is uh, original. This is the factory-made uh, uh, belt, so it should last longer than the generic one. Okay, I'm gonna try replacing it and so the uh, roller here has a position new position old position so I guess uh, if it's an old roller you put it you know like on top here new one is like this maybe uh, it raises or lower the, the brush a little bit so uh, if it's an old one uh, it sits slower uh, that's what I I guess uh, I'm just going to wash it out with some water, the uh, old roller. This is the way he recommended. He's just rolled it on there. on it like that. Yep. That's probably the better way to do it. Put it on here first and then try to roll it on the roller. And then make sure the uh, belt is sitting on the shaft like Just roll it around a few times, it should sit in place. And okay, the belt is in place, I clean it up a bit. Uh, just gonna, don't operate this without the cover on because uh, it's not that secure. I'm just gonna try it, it should come on. Okay, it works. So, just put everything back together. I guess you could lubricate the motor shaft a little bit but I'm not gonna do it because uh, if you put too much grease on it it will attract dust and uh, it can create more problem uh, than you solve. It's expensive probably because of the motor they use a quality motor there's some side brushes here this is the first time I Seen the Ulrich up close. It's very lightweight, so that's a positive. 